Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, ma'am. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. So, Miss Walling. Uh, yes, sir. You did your physics, uh, BSc in physics in 2018. Yes, sir. What have you been doing after that? Uh, sir, I've been preparing uh, full time for the civil services. So, is this, uh, how many times have you appeared for the civil services? Uh, this is my third time, sir. Your third time? Yes, sir. Okay. And your interview? Uh, this is my first time. Your first interview? Yes, sir. So, why are you so keen on joining the civil services? Uh, sir, uh, I've been uh, inspired by a lot of uh, civil services in my place. Mm -hmm. And I also believe that the civil services provides a lot of diversity and resources. Uh, and it also provides uh, a good opportunity for career development as well. And it uh, focuses on the grassroots level as well. So, I'm uh, keen on joining the civil okay. services. Good, good. Uh, Ms. Walling, um, as I look at, uh, you belong to Mokok Chung. Yes, sir. Okay. But you studied in Shillong and then Delhi. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, do you know uh, Mokok Chung, sometime back, uh, used to be called Paris of the East. Have you heard of it? Sir, I'm sorry. I'm not aware of that. Yeah. There was a time when the best of fashions, you know, okay, used to sir. come to Mokok. Okay, sir. Okay. So, that's a very important place. And uh, uh, we have uh, an insurgency which is going on in yes. Nagaland. Okay. Uh, which are the main insurgent groups which are uh, operating in Nagaland? Uh, sir, at the moment, uh, there is uh, NSCN IM. Uh, which is in talks with the government. Uh, and there is another uh, group, uh, Naga National Political Group, which consists of seven uh, armed uh, groups together. So, these two are the main. And besides that, uh, there is NSCN uh, Kaplang faction as well. So, these are the main uh, groups in the uh, state. So, which group is negotiating with the government of India? Uh, sir, uh, currently um, now it's uh, the NSCN IM which is negotiating, and um, besides that, the N uh, NNPGs. And uh, uh, do you think uh, uh, the application of something called Armed Forces Special Powers Act uh, is it required for Nagaland or it should be removed from Nagaland? Uh, sir, I believe that. Uh, since the government has withdrawn from some of the uh, districts of the state uh, partially and some in some districts fully, I believe that in order to uh, bring peace to the state as well as to gain the trust uh, of the um, people in the state and uh, given the fact that uh, talks are already going on with the insurgent groups, um, I believe that uh, the withdrawal is a step in the right direction. Uh, and it can um, get, uh, it can garner uh, greater trust uh, among the people. Uh, we have a history of uh, sports, a large number of sports person coming from North East. Yes, sir. Isn't it? Yes, sir. Uh, let's say tomorrow you get a chance to make some policy. Yes, sir. Uh, to develop uh, sports in the country, and North East becomes one of your focus. How will you tap the potential of uh, the North East? To improve sports in the country? Uh, sir, uh, first of all, um, students in schools uh, should be given more opportunity to explore their talents, uh, especially in sports. Uh, this can be done through interstate or inter district uh, competitions from where we can uh, draw the talents. Uh, second of all, we can also provide a scholarship. The government is already uh, providing some scholarship under Kelo India. Uh, I, th I believe that this is a uh, right step. And uh, third of all, um, in order to bridge uh, the sports uh, sector uh, among different uh, parts of the country, I believe that uh, focus uh, on sports such as uh, football or uh, stay, uh, sports where it's uh, uh, popular among the Northeastern uh, uh, youth, uh, this could bridge uh, the gap. Okay, uh, but uh, some people have the view that unless you allot some marks, specific marks yes. for sports, yes. uh, people are not going to you know, take sports as a mainstream. Yes, sir. What are your views for this? Uh, 
Uh, sir, I believe that uh, since uh, the education system in our country is such that it gives a lot of importance on marks, we can also uh, try to assess uh, in that direction. Uh, however, I believe that uh, encouragement of an awareness among the parents as well to uh, nurture the children uh, and... Uh, no, that's okay, but I just want, if you want to give marks, can a system, can a system is the is the system adequate enough to cater to this requirement? Uh, pardon, sir. Is the system? Yes, sir. Our educational system. That, does it have any provisions? If it doesn't have any provisions, can you introduce certain provisions for giving marks to the sports uh, to the sports people? Uh, sir, I'm not uh, fully aware of uh, provisions uh, for sports uh, on marks, but I believe that uh, encouraging uh, through marks can also. Uh, have you gone through the uh, new education policy, national education policy? Yes, sir. Uh, what are the provisions for sports persons there to increase sports? There are certain special provisions there in the national education policy. Uh, sir, I am not are fully not aware. aware. It doesn't matter. Fully it doesn't matter. Aware. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Mm. Compliments to you. Thank you, sir. the stage of personality test. Thank you, sir. In Meghalaya, they say that women work harder. Am I right? Uh, sir, it's both ways, I feel. Uh, I feel both uh, both genders, men and women, uh, women work hard in Meghalaya. No, I said they work harder. So there is a difference. <laughs> uh, sir, in my personal uh, experience, I've uh, seen that both work uh, this okay. way. Sure. Who was St. Stephen? Uh, who was uh, St. Stephen's College? Yes, sir. Who was the St. Stephen in this? Uh, sir, uh, according to my knowledge, uh, St. Stephen's was named after the patrons uh, who were uh, first uh, persecuted uh, in the country, the Christian uh, patrons, uh, missionaries who first came to the country. Uh, this, uh, has also, uh, this also has a reference to uh, the story of, say, uh, of a saint named uh, Stephen's in the Bible. So they uh, drew this connection and name uh, the college uh, okay. in the name. What is the distinction between classical mechanics and quantum mechanics? For layman, how will you explain? Uh, sir, um, classical mechanics uh, states that uh, we can determine uh, a particular position at a particular time accurately. But in quantum physics, uh, the principle of uncertainty comes in where we cannot determine uh, the state of a particle uh, at the correct velocity or at the correct uh, position. So there has to be some compromise uh, in order to determine uh, the position or either the velocity. Uh, this quantum mechanic can be applied to, let's say, running the railway engine of uh, uh, Indian railways? Sir, uh, yes, we can uh, apply. Just given instance, how will you, what will you gain after? There you apply Newton's law of motion. Yes, sir. With Coulomb, darling, you you get the acceleration and all. How, where exactly you put quantum? Uh, sir, um, actually, it is applicable to very uh, low dimensions, very small dimensions, yes, like sir. the orbits of hydrogen atoms yes, around the nucleus. Yes, sir. It is at that level the quantum mechanics becomes important. Yes, sir. Or bigger things like railway engine or okay. Yes, sir. What were the Germans' contribution in uh, say the twenties, thirties, early forties in Europe? Germans' contribution. German people' contribution or scientists' contribution. Give some instances if you know. If you don't know, I will ask something else. Uh, sir. Uh, in, I'm not really sure about Einstein's. Uh, Einstein was a German, no doubt. He was one of the uh, greatest scientists. Yes, sir. Well, who else? Einstein, no, he was first. Uh, so I'm not. He discovered neutron. Neutron. Uh, so I'm unable to recall, no, no. I'm sorry. The principle you said, uh, the uncertainty principle. Yes, sir. Uh, Polly's. Uh, if I'm not Poly, wrong. That is neutrino. Yes. Discovered neutrino. 
but it was Heisenberg uncertainty. Oh, yes, sir. Yes. Heisenberg was it. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, China has been colonized, uh, colonizing in a very special way. Can you guess how? Uh, sir, uh, it is um, investing uh, through infrastructure uh, with uh, its policy of uh, Belt and Road Initiative, creating a debt trap uh, uh, for um, different uh, states. Uh, Give examples of a few countries. Sir, a uh, few countries as such would be uh, Sri Lanka yes. with Hambantota uh, port. Second. Um, Second would be. Um, there are many countries. Who are, yes, sir. Okay, what would maybe the quantum of Chinese loan to different countries? There are about 165 countries to whom it has advanced loan. And surprisingly, it advances loans to such countries which are not eligible under World Bank or IMF. Okay, Otherwise, sir. they will not go to China. So, what is the total quantum? So I'm not aware of the total quantum. Okay. Have you heard of Chinese loan to Myanmar? Um, sir, I'm you not. Yes. Uh, yes, sir. I'm not fully uh, well yes, aware. Yes. No. Uh, no, I so how, do you, how do you tackle China? I, I, as a person, I feel great. The way it has been treating India, it all matters. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, we can. Uh, improve our border infrastructure. The government is already investing a lot on border Very infrastructure. Well. Uh, mm -hmm. Second would be through uh, dialogue. Uh, even though uh, there are uh, differences between the two countries. Two. Uh, and uh, three, through trade, uh, trade uh, relations. Um, I feel that uh, even though uh, we have uh, differences, uh, trade should not be neglected. We can uh, take uh, comparative advantages of uh, where we can uh, tackle China uh, in trade. Such as? Uh, such as uh, since uh, Chinese are uh, very adept in manufacturing sector, we can make use of services sector as well. Um, How do you tackle China there? Uh, he tackles us actually there. Uh, sorry, sir. It is China which makes advantage of their manufacturing power. Yes, sir. So he is tackling us, not we <laughs> tackling him. Uh, sir, I believe that through services, since uh, India. You are not uh, referring to the defense preparedness other than infrastructure. Yes, sir. What about our missile system? We bought uh, one or two from the S400 from yes, Russia. Sir. On that front, will you work? To what extent? Or that will not give any returns? Sir, I believe that it will give uh, some returns. Uh, I believe that uh, the defense uh, infrastructure and uh, can boost uh, our hard power as well. And uh, Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Wilson Aru? Yes, ma'am. You come from Nagaland. It's known as the land of festivals. Yes, ma'am. How many festivals do you have? Uh, ma'am, there are a lot of festivals. And the most prominent? Uh, the most prominent would be the Hornbill Festival. Have you participated? Uh, no, uh, unfortunately, I've not been able to participate. Uh, in sociology, who is known as the father of Indian sociology? Uh, the father of Indian sociology would be G.S. Kure. What was he famous for, his field? Um, Ma'am, he focused on Indology, uh, studying sociology uh, from an Indian perspective uh, through Indian texts. Uh, so I believe uh, that was his uh, contribution. Okay. In the last 20 years, what were important developments in sociology? Ma'am, I'm not able to... Uh, what about critical analysis of globalization? Yes, ma'am. Right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, in physics, who got the Nobel Prize in 2021? Ma'am... Who did? Uh, I'm not able to recall the name. All right. 
Uh, who is the only woman who won two Nobel Prizes? Uh, Ma'am, I think it would be Mary Curie. Yes, yes. Okay. Any Indian who won the Nobel Prize in Physics? Yes, ma'am. Uh, C.V. Raman uh, for his uh, theory on Raman uh, scattering. Did you, you want to join the Foreign Service? Uh, yes, ma'am. That's my second preference. What do you know of the Foreign Service and what attracts you to it? Ma'am, uh, it gives uh, a wide platform uh, for civil service uh, servants uh, to uh, engage with other nations and to uh, portray India's uh, national interests uh, abroad and to engage with its uh, diaspora. And, uh, over the 70 years, what have you seen? I mean, what can you tell me about the highlights of India's foreign policy and today how it uh, Ma'am, first would be a non-aligned uh, movement. Uh, India for about 20 years, right? Yes, ma'am. Right. Uh, second would be uh, its uh, new relations with the U.S. Uh, post the U.S.-India uh, uh, civil nuclear uh, uh, deal, and. Currently, India is also uh, trying to maintain a good relationship uh, with both the West and the East. Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. Yes. Strategic considerations, no? neighborhood first yes, policy, outreach to yes, Far East. Many. Okay. Now, uh, what do you know about India and Bhutan's bilateral relations? Uh, Ma'am, mm, from what I know, yes. uh, India is a very important partner uh, for Bhutan and Bhutan as well for India. Uh, it uh, shares uh, cultural ties uh, and religious ties as well. Uh, India. Location. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, ma'am. Strategic. Yes, uh, so yes ma'am. Chicken neck. Refer yes, ma'am. The, uh, the chicken neck corridor, which uh, connects the rest of the country to the northeast. Yes. Now, anything significant that happened with the India Bhutan recently <laughs> in the recent past? Uh, ma'am, the re recent issue would be the Doklam uh, crisis. Thank you, ma'am. Ma Could you tell me five most important issues pertaining to Indian women in yes, order of priority? Uh, first would be uh, gender violence or ge uh, women's safety. Second would be uh, gender uh, pay cap. Gender? Pay cap. Uh, difference in uh, uh, gender pay. Okay, gender pay gap. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, third would be um, with respect to uh, representation in uh, political sphere. Fourth would be um, uh, women's education and awareness. And fifth would be with regard to uh, uh, gender uh, health, uh, women's health. Uh. All right. So, what are the laws or policy regarding protection of women from violence? Uh, sir, can you please? Uh, what are the laws yes, sir. or policies of government regarding protection of women from violence? Uh, sir. Um, there have been uh, laws which uh, prohibit uh, social evils such as uh, dowry or uh, rape uh, and... Which is the law? Is there any specific law for protection of women from dowry? Uh, yes, sir. There is a dowry prohibition act. Okay. And from rape? Uh, so I'm unable to recall the correct law. 
any other law for protection of women from domestic violence so i am unable to recall no all right uh, there was a committee which was set up by government sometimes back to suggest certain changes in law regarding rape and other uh, you know offenses dealing with the outraging the modesty of a woman could you name the committee who headed the committee so i am not aware i am sorry you are not aware uh, what are invictus games invictus invictus games have you heard this name uh, sir is this with respect to uh, games where uh, injured or uh, sick military veterans yes, can participate yes. in the games where they have been uh, uh, recently held or are just going on so i'm not aware of that what are the parallel games known as in us uh, sorry sir what are the parallel games known as in us what is the name given to these games in us so i'm not aware oh, why why do you call it invictus games uh sir i believe the in word invictus means unconquered yes uh it means to show that uh even though we have certain uh, disadvantages and injuries uh we can still participate there was a poem called invictus do you know who who wrote it uh, no sir i am not aware okay. and one of the worst a uh, very important leader was very fond of this poem i'm sorry sir i'll read upon it you are not aware. okay all right thank you uh, miss walling have you heard of this term which is being used called act east policy uh yes sir what is this uh, act east policy uh sir the act east policy is to connect uh india with its uh, southeast asian neighbors okay. um it focuses on cultural uh, relations uh trade relations and connectivity and it uh, focuses on development of the northeast along with uh, the development of the uh, relations with uh, the southeast uh, countries so under this scheme have you seen any development taken place in your state in nagaland uh so road connectivity or anything else uh sir recently the government uh, has uh, tried to uh, construct a road in avakong which is in fake district mm-hmm. uh it's trying to connect uh, with uh, the neighboring country myanmar uh in other states uh, such as uh, manipur uh, connection from more to myanmar and uh, uh, with regard to uh, multimodal uh, kaladan multimodal uh, modal transport mm-hmm. uh it connects uh, the rest of india from kolkata to uh, myanmar and from there to mizoram so how why do why do you call it multimodal uh sir it because uh, it is called multimodal because it uh, uh it makes use of different uh, modes of uh, transport such, such as? as waterways from, uh, from trans- calcutta from calcutta to uh to sitwe port sitwe if i'm port yes sir. by sea yes sir. then from sitwe uh to uh i'm not able to recall the correct uh, palitwa, uh city palitwa palitwa yes sir hmm? and what is the name of the river uh sir i'm not able to recall kaladan river yes sir that takes you to uh, palitwa mizoram. and from there by road to mizoram, mizoram. Yes, which sir. which town in mizoram is connected to this Uh, so if i'm uh, pronouncing it correctly it would be long tree uh, <laughs> okay <laughs> you check up on that right now tell me when um, uh, donald trump was the us president he yes, tried sir. to bring the middle east countries some of them closer to israel yes sir and there was a series of accords called the abraham accords yes, have sir. you heard about that yes sir. what were these uh so it uh tried to mend the relationship of the arab countries with israel uh countries such as saudi arabia uae and bahrain uh joined uh signed uh uh relation uh, it tried to connect uh with israel yeah uae and bahrain yes sir right and then subsequently two other countries joined uh 
sir sudan Qatar. sudan yeah. and morocco okay sir they I'm also uh, as part of the abraham accords yes. right okay sir now you uh, of course are for, you listen to podcasts but a related issue of films yes you know did you uh, did you follow the oscars uh, sir i i have not followed diligently no but uh, did you do you know which movie got the best picture award or who was the best actor or actress uh, sir uh, from what i know the uh, the best picture was awarded to koda uh and uh, best actor award was given to uh, will smith will smith yes. you watch his movies or you don't so i have not watched uh, <laughs> okay his okay fine now let me ask you one more thing you know the supreme court has been uh, has given two judgments relating to women yes. who were wanting to join the armed forces okay sir hmm, to facilitate their staying there what were these judgments any idea uh sir uh, it allowed women to join the permanent commission uh, uh that is one permanent commission and then can they sit for the nda now or not so i'm not very sure about okay, that right so <coughs> we end your mock interview yes and i'll give you a feedback you are doing well miss walling you are doing well you are very poised you are able to speak in a very measured tone these are your plus points now what we find is that uh, normally uh, uh, for the in for these upsc interviews you may get questions from your daf yes sir or from current affairs yes sir. right so now your daf uh, your optional subject was sociology yes. so you know questions relating to sociology you know what is sociology it is a science of what what does it do uh, how does it help society uh, who have been uh, the good uh, you know the, the known sociologists in india and uh, and abroad so just brush up on this yes. you don't have very much time because you've got 10 yes. days left for your interview and certainly northeast you are aware of your own state uh, nagaland but you know things uh, what are the issues in manipur what are the issues in assam particularly you yes. know there are so many of these insurgent movements and the government has been able to come out with various accords you know they have had an accord with the bodos the karbi anglongs right then the bru issue has been sorted yes. out so just be aware of what has been happening in the northeast uh, because a lot of uh, a lot of uh, plus points are there in the yes. northeast right so just uh, brush up on that and then of course since your uh, bsc was in physics so naturally some questions on yes. on your own subject you are asked certain issues relating yes. to your college itself yes. saint stephens so how does it get the name and you know it's one of the most prestigious colleges in delhi so no harm in doing a little bit more right yes. then you know you have given your your hobbies you, you read non fiction books so what kind of authors do you prefer which which is the latest book which you have read what did you think about the book a critical analysis be prepared for these kind of issues yes. you play the piano yes. what kind of uh, songs uh, western or indian or your local uh, uh, from nagaland uh, and uh, you know who are the great indian pianists yes. these kind of things and you listen to podcast you know what kind of podcast do you listen to what do you gain by that yes. how is it helpful uh, that kind of so be prepared to answer these yes. uh, these kind of issues the other area is you know general knowledge yes. current affairs yes. so read a newspaper very religiously yes. from now for the next 10 days you spend many hours reading the newspaper so that you are abreast to what is happening in the country yes. you know our equation with china our relationship with pakistan yes. our uh, relationship with what is happening in sri lanka yes. what is uh, the internal uh, issues which are taking place within the country then you know some of these important enactments like the nrc and the citizenship amendment act its impact in the northeast yes. you know assam was opposed to it the asu was opposed to it what was the reason for that internationally since you've given foreign service as your second option so you know uh, what is happening in the in europe what is happening in the us yes. I think elections are taking place in France. Yes, 
probably by the time uh, of your interview i think they would be yes, they would be over 24th is the second round so you know there's a right wing movement which is coming up yes. in uh, in europe so these are and it's all being reported in uh, in the in the newspapers so read that very very carefully yes, follow whatever is happening yes, there okay yes, otherwise you're doing well and we wish you all the very best thank you sir okay thank you. right all the best, all the best. thank you right. uh, yeah yes sir can i please ask yeah, a question yeah sure uh, sir with respect to china how should i have answered uh, structured my answer or more points i would say that only way to tackle country like china is to enhance your defense capability okay sir some steps have been taken that are not in any way for example one good thing that has happened in india is the nuclear deterrent has been created yes sir so pakistan and china will think several times before attacking on the nuclear front yes but on other fronts our army has to be modernized on many fronts yes china is doing very well but we have an advantage we have one we have uh, fought several wars after 62 yes. china has done none you have an advantage but you have to convert this advantage by preparing india very well yes there much has to be done yes thank you sir yeah. anything else thank what? you sir thank okay. you ma'am okay. okay all the best sir. thank you right. don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update